Hey guys, Christina here from Christina Demu Coaching. And today I'm gonna to give you three warm-ups you can do discreetly before you go into that audition room. So congratulations guys on your audition, that's fantastic news. I'm gonna give you my top three warm-ups you can do just before you head into the audition room. You're sitting outside the audition room you're waiting to go in and the nerves are starting to kick in, the mouth's a little dry, you're thinking, is my voice working? I know I warmed up before I got here, but I just need to check. And you might be feeling a little bit self-conscious, which is absolutely fine, because there's such crazy things auditions, there's never always really an audition warm-up room you can go into, and you're always gonna be surrounded by other people, so it can be quite nerve-wracking breaking out a full warm-up. Plus, You've already warmed up your voice. You don't want to push it. The main event is the audition itself. So my first warm up for you is the siren. And that's where we hold the NG of the word sing. So S-I-N-G, we're gonna hold that NG. We're gonna travel up and down our range comfortably on that NG without any breaks or cracks. So I'm gonna start at my speaking pitch level and then I'm gonna move up and down. Sing. So let's try it together, shall we? Here we go. Sing. So the things we want to remember when we're doing the siren, we need to keep a nice relaxed jaw, no tension at all, no tensing or holding. Keep that nice and relaxed. The tongue is also nice and relaxed, sitting in the base of the mouth. It's not pressed down and anchored. You're not forcibly putting that tongue down. You're just allowing it to sit behind the bottom teeth. Just the tip of the tongue behind the bottom teeth. No tension whatsoever. Hold the NG and move up and down our range. Sing. Just want to check in with that connection. Make sure it's nice and smooth and there's an even tone and volume. And this is a really good warm up to do to just find that vocal fold closure that you need. And my second warm up for you is the lip trill. Now this is really good for connecting voice and breath again, keeping that constant airflow but not driving too much air. And what we wanna do is keep the lips relaxed. We're gonna blow some air through and then connect the sound. <laughs> Again, we're just keeping that consistency going whilst we're going up and down the range. Now, if you find that really hard, you can put your fingers either side of your mouth like this and blow. And you also want to make sure that you're in control, that you're coming off so you're not falling off the voice. We're not going and just letting the energy go. You want to hold on to it and then come off when you're ready. And my third exercise for you is the V, have, like a V sound. So I'm connecting my lips and my teeth. Now there's a slight energy in the body here when we do this. So put your hands on your sides, your thumb is round your back here, and we're just gonna go now can you see that my arms are moving a little bit my hands are moving because they're expanding my body is expanding as I make this sound which means my body is engaged now again we don't want to force that airflow too much we just want to create enough energy in the body to connect to the voice so that we're going to be able to sing so we're going to do that together so we're keeping that energy connected, that airflow connected. You don't want any breaks in there. You want to keep everything nice and steady. You can also use these exercises to help you connect to your song as well. Let's take, let me be your star from Smash. So that's gonna help you find a nice vocal fold placement and a nice airflow. 
that isn't pushing too much that's going to help you find that nice connection. So there are my three top warm-ups that you can do if you're feeling a little bit self-conscious just before you go into the audition room and you don't want to sing a whole song in front of everyone waiting but you just want to check in with your vocal. And remember, an audition is the main event. You don't want to tire yourself out before you get there. Know what warm-ups work for you. Know how long you want to warm up your voice and how long it needs before you go in. Hope you found this video useful and you use these exercises within your practice. I'd love to know how you get on, so if you have any comments or feedback, please let me know in the comments below. Remember to click the bell so you get notifications when a new video comes out save this video and good luck with your audition you're awesome you've got this go smash it